it's soon going to be campus placement time at many of the engineering colleges as large marquee names in the banking community, Citibank, Credit Suisse, JP Morgan, Bank of America, amongst others, will be visiting some of the top campuses of engineering degrees and IT qualifications to recruit some of the brightest minds in investment banking as technology analysts. And many a times the fourth year students or fourth year participants will not be aware of what is their role in such a bank and therefore I thought of making this video about what is an investment bank. Hello everybody, I'm a learning partner Sushila Hariharan and in this video we're going to explore the role of an investment bank at a very high-end level. An investment bank is a financial services intermediary that moves capital around, thereby facilitating capital raising. And most of the clients include corporates, governments, hedge funds, and high net worth individuals. So as you can understand from the client list, the clients are extremely sophisticated. They are large value clients. Each transaction size could run into millions of dollars and the kind of commissions and brokerages that the investment bank can earn from a single transaction itself runs into millions of dollars. There are broadly speaking two types of investment banks. The first one is the bulge bracket banks, the global names that we spoke about just now, including names like UBS, Citibank, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, JP Morgan, etc. are all bulge bracket banks. Bulge bracket banks are those that provide the entire range of investment banking services to their high net worth individuals and to their hedge fund clients. Boutique investment banks, on the other hand, are very specialized investment banks. They include names like Evercore, Lazard, Liontree, amongst others, who provide extremely sophisticated and customized solutions in one specific aspect of capital raising. Thus, bulge bracket banks are the larger banks in terms of sheer number of employees and they have presence across different countries in different continents and they are the ones who are going to be recruiting from many of the engineering colleges in India. Let's take a look at what are the main investment banking divisions that are there. The first one is the very traditional division called the corporate finance or the IBD or the investment banking division. In most banks, these are called as investment banking floors, okay? The investment banking division, the investment banking companies also have a second and a very robust division called as the IR or the investment banking research. The third one is wealth management, which looks at catering to the requirements of the high net worth individuals or large trusts and religious institutions. And the fourth one is participating in different assets as traders across the world. The typical activities in the first division of an IBD floor. Let's say you're a startup company and you need to raise capital from venture capital companies like Sequoia, Matrix, etc. How do you get that capital from some of these venture capital companies? Who will help you make a pitch book who will help understand the valuation, the investment research? Who will understand? Who will help us understand the valuation, the investment research, the due diligence, amongst others? That would be the investment bank. The investment bank acts like a intermediary between the startup company and venture capital investors in order to help the startups raise capital from some of these VC firms. The next very critical division of corporate finance or investment banking floor is IPO placements. Large companies, as they grow larger, need to raise money from different individuals, retail individuals like you and me, and that is called as the public placement of capital, the initial public offering of the company for the very first time. It involves a very laborious and a rigorous process of liaising with regulators, transfer agents, depositories, legal documentation, valuation, due diligence, and so on. The role of the investment bank is very important at the time of IPO placements because it helps the company raise all the capital that it actually needs from different investors. Another related activity of corporate finance could be mergers and acquisitions, where there are companies that are willing to sell their equity to companies that want to buy and increase their exp increase their footprint or expand their operations in different countries in different markets the investment bank comes into the picture and acts as a negotiator 
as a valuation model, as a due diligence provider it, between the selling company and the buying company. So that explains the role of investment banking in corporate finance. In investment research, investment banks provide very high quality research services on equities across different markets. These include markets of New York Stock Exchange, across the across the uh, Atlantic Ocean, there's the London Stock Exchange and on a different continent altogether is the Tokyo Stock Exchange. There are many stock exchanges across the world where global investment banks, the bulge bracket banks have a presence and they can help uh, investors trade on these different markets. Investment research could also be provided on foreign exchange, foreign exchange being a very volatile asset and traded in different time zones and in different currency pairs also provides a lucrative trading option for investment banks. Investment banks also target wealthy individuals, HNIs, high net worth individuals, or ultra high net worth individuals. These include sports personalities, films, celebrities, other startup entrepreneurs, businessmen, politicians, and help them in investment advisory and tax planning. And the largest activity of investment banks, second largest activity of investment banking after corporate finance is trading, where they liaise with clients and provide them with trading solutions across equities, foreign exchange, commodities, fixed income, and money markets. Their trading solutions include trading in different markets, whether it's the exchange or whether it's the OTC, as well as in different assets like equities, foreign exchange, commodities, and fixed income. The role of the uh, investment banks are segregated into three different tasks, front office, middle office, and back office. And most of the global investment banks have large back offices set up in India because of the rich technology of education that we have, as well as the talent and the ability of the engineers in India to solve complex investment banking problems, derive uh, algorithms, as well as design customized exotic options. A lot of technology support work for the global investment banks are now being outsourced to India. That's a very high level overview of what investment banking is all about. If you have any questions or doubts, do post in the comment section below and my very best wishes to all the engineers out there who are looking to join investment banking as a career option. Thank you so much.